Well, he ain't. <laughs> Give a thousand and fifty miles for this. Hey, wait, 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 wait! I just want you people to know, Jim is not a really a small guy. That's actually a three-pound perch. <laughs> the biggest one ever. <laughs> Coming up. It may be cold outside, but it's a great time of year to go fishing. Ice fishing, that is. On today's show, Bob and Big Jim McLaughlin, along with a group of avid ice anglers, travel to Ontario's Sunset Country in search of giant lake trout through the ice. Targeting winter lakers can be challenging, but when you finally hook into one of these monsters, it's well worth the wait. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Here it comes. Whoa. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Look at that big laser. Yeah. Ah, dude. Oh, baby. That thing is a monster. Whoa. <laughs> the Real Fishing Show with Bob Izumi. Oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I got one. <laughs> oh, look at that thing! <laughs> Help! <laughs> look at those teeth! Oh, there we go. Come and do me! Alright! Woohoo! Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, my God. Whoa! Alright! We're gonna find this pet. Real fishing is sponsored by Chevrolet. Mercury, number one on the water, and Tim Hortons. Hey, folks, that's what I call real fishing. I'm just getting spooled up with some 10-pound fire line. I want no stretch because we're fishing lake trout up here in Canada's sunset country. We're talking about northwestern Ontario. Should be good. Got Big Jim McLaughlin and a whole group of people with us out for a little lake trout fishing. Jim, let's get out of here. I'm pumped, buddy. I'm pumped. Oh, you got it. That's it. That way, right? Yeah. Oh, look at them all come up off the bottom. I think they just perched them. Oh. You got somebody home. <laughs> somebody home? Is he a big one? I will not charge for good luck. Wayne, this is your lunch. Oh, do I have to sing for each fish? <laughs> Here's your lunch. He's coming up. Ooh. They're getting bigger. <laughs> that's a that's a six-pounder. The first one was a three-pounder. We just sushi that one up, and we'll start the morning off. Our eggs. There's, that's a little fish. drill three holes in a triangle because the ice is four feet thick and if we do get one of these giant lakers uh, four feet ice another ten inches of hard packed snow you need the space to get them out that's what we have to worry about that you're lucky I'm not strong enough to pick you up and run away with you anymore when we go with them Bob, uh, bring your line up to like 20 feet. Why? Because there's a bunch of bait that's just flying through. Well, you know, it's the third week of March, and uh, there's still a lot of ice. And we're up in northwestern Ontario, in Ontario, sunset country. And uh, got a big group. Got Big Jim McLaughlin behind me, and Eric Poster, and Tom Grunwald from HT Enterprises, and Tom Licken from Snow Bear, and my uh, brother Wayne. And over farther, we've got the In Fisherman group with uh, Gord Pizer. Doug Stang, he's over there, and we're really covering a lot of water here trying to find those lakers. You know, you want to get out on these big, deep flats and just keep jigging and, and wait till a fish comes through and then get your jig up to the depth that that fish is. We've got the guys spread out pretty good here trying to find the lakers, though, so don't be afraid to drill a lot of holes. That's not a problem. Some of the guys are using uh, white tube jigs. I've got one of the Berkeley... Uh, power baits on. I know Jim's got a jigging spoon on. 
guys are trying different types of jigging methods. Well, what do you got on there, brother? Oh, I'm running like a laker. All right. Jim, you know what? We just got this hole drilled, right? We got this hole drilled, and we're thinking about we're all standing dark. <laughs> there, and I take out the dig down. I've never caught a fish without the lure in the water. Not our boy. Oh, there, you go. there we go. She's running like a leaf. Oh Ooh. yeah. Slow down, girl. <laughs> I, I nobody's lowering their bait down, and Will says, "Well, maybe I'll fish it." <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. We're all d debating. Now, what should we do? <laughs> Bob was thinking about making sandwiches. <laughs> wow. Well, hey, guys got to eat. The guys got to eat. Fish too. Oh, how many sandwiches? That's a big to fish, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, he's going to jump. He's going to jump. Get ready for the big thunk. Oh, shit. Well, there you go. Well, okay, Will, why don't you fish over there? <laughs> we are. Yeah. Isn't that something? Jim's ready to tackle Bob in the snow. And while waiting for the Lakers to bite, Bob hooks into a very interesting freshwater fish. Stay tuned. Closed captioning is brought to you by FNCC and BoaterExam.com. Let's take a look down under with this week's Fish Eye View, sponsored by Mercury, number one on the water. When preparing for a big ice fishing trip, the final detail is the inevitable pit stop for live bait. It's like having an insurance policy that guarantees action on a short winter day. As temperatures drop, keeping things alive can be a real problem. Sure, you can add movement, but fact is, fish aren't that crazy about frozen dinners. Lures like jigs and spoons have their moments. Then again, there are a lot of days like this. We took a lesson from winter steelheaders who prefer using roll bags. They keep these organic baits unfrozen inside an inner pocket. You can't do that with minnows, but you sure can with soft plastics. It's even possible to carry a week's supply. To be certain, we field tested a wide range of these baits on a number of different species. Surprisingly, we found they worked just as well as live bait. Unlike old style rubber, they remained soft in cold water, and whatever's in them, fish swallowed them down. Better still, they could be trimmed to suit any situation. From the endless variety to choose from, we couldn't help but notice the tube jigs are a particularly hot item. Big trout like steelhead, lakers, and brookies simply go head over heels for these things. Whatever you're after, give soft plastics a try this winter. They'll keep on working long after your live bait has kicked the bucket. <laughs> Watch this. He's not even going to run. What? <laughs> Just because you're bigger means the harder you fall, brother. I think we just keep moving around till we find them, eh? Shallow here. Here we go. Come on, baby. Come on up here, Mr. Fish. That one just cranked it when I got down to the bottom. <laughs> Jim, I got this, this Berkeley power tube right down to the bottom and just BAM! Ooh, Bobby. <laughs> I just hope this hole's big enough. You know what I'm saying, brother? You never know. <laughs> we talked about that earlier. Yeah, it's down there. I just hope this hole is big enough. Because we're talking about eight inch hole. Maybe just skim that clean a little bit. 
Yeah, we just punched a series of holes here, and this is a little shallower on the shoal, only around 24, 25 feet deep. You know what? I think it's a pretty decent lake trout. I think it's a pretty decent one. Now, it's pulled up with 10 pound fire line, and I'm running an 8 pound leader on here. Don't go by. Did you see him? Yeah. Oh, is he going to fit? Oh, he might be stuck. What do we got? Hey. It's a catfish. <laughs> what? It's <a> catfish. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's the biggest ling I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> the size of that thing. That is isn't that awesome. That is a big. That's by far the biggest one I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Whoa, baby. Isn't that something? Is that, that a that big is. ling? Let me Look just, at that. Let me just clean them off a bit. What a beautiful fish. You know what this is called, Jim? Ding a ling. <laughs> Look at that thing. Is that Put a your down. He thinks he's in the frying pan. Let's grill it up. You done good. Look at the trophy fish. Yeah, but you know what? Oh, that? It's always when you're fishing for bass, you catch pike. When you're fishing for lakers, you catch ling. That's the way it works. All right. Well, well, that is an absolute trophy, Bob. This is a little bit of Ontario sunset country. That is a weird looking fish. Folks, stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> Up next, we're talking high-tech tackle with Eric Poster, and Bob hooks into the monster lake trout that we've been waiting for. Well, I will tell you, folks, that that is the biggest freshwater ling I have ever caught. That thing is like squirming around, a uh, very hardy fish, kind of prehistoric, and I'm going to put this thing back in. Look at that. It's incredible how it just wants to curl up on me. Well, we're, you're going back in, Lee. Except you have to straighten out before you go back in. <laughs> there she goes. Still going. Still going. It's still going. <laughs> ah, nothing like ding in a lane on a nice, beautiful March day. And uh, here's the tube right here, and uh, that's a Berkeley Power tube, one of the real sticks, uh, or realistic, I should say, versions. It's got the eyes on it. What I'm using here is actually a vanished fluorocarbon leader, nice and visible, and I've got a Berkeley swivel here, just a straight swivel, and then 10 pound no stretch fire line. And uh, hey, what can I say? Did the trick. But where are the lake trout? That's what we're fishing. <laughs> Ice fishing for lake trout can be a daunting task. You have to have an open mind to be willing to try a few different strategies to target these big old broods. Lakers are opportunistic fish and their pattern can change day to day, but being mobile is crucial. Having a big group to spread out and cover a broader area like we have today will help too. If one area gets into some action, you can move a couple of lines closer to that hole. Sometimes only a few feet away can make all the difference. This tip of the week is sponsored by Coleman. Hey, we're in my studio, the great outdoors, and I'll tell you what, it's a beautiful day on the ice. I'm with Eric Poster, and Eric, you're from HT. You guys make more ice fishing rods than anybody else out there. You make hundreds of models, right? Well, actually, we've got uh, 246 models that we actually just catalog. And wow. that's not including all the specialty rods we make for customers. I... Uh, Boy, I think probably in our lineup, we're looking at well over 600. I'm sure you get the question all the time, why so many ice fishing rods? I know why, but let's tell the viewers. Uh, when it comes to applications, we can look at something like the ice blues here. Uh, you've got something nice for micro fishing. Uh, one to, boy, two, three, four pound. I wouldn't go more than four on a rod like this. But you've got a nice little back Very bone. sensitive, though, for panfish. Right? Very sensitive, yeah. And we can take a step up. This is a much... Um, quicker tip action here again this is a micro light this is the uh, polar light uh, PLC uh, micro ice here and a lot of backbone uh, great for uh, perch uh, great for crappie mm -hmm. and then uh, you know we're looking at uh, more of your walleye and uh, larger game fish maybe a lake trout rod here all tip action look at the backbone there all tip action right on good hook setting too yep. huh? 
And if you're looking for something a little more stiffer yet, again, in the Polar Light series of rods, something stiff. We call this a medium action rod, actually. Mm -hmm. Good jigging rod for walleyes and uh, um, just a variety of fish. How about whitefish, too? Yep, certainly. And uh, you know, we got to step up here. This is our Truk series of rods. You can get it in a, in a spinner or a trigger. And this is for the Lakers we've been catching. You're looking at uh, 10, 15, you know, 25 pound plus uh, fish coming out at uh, 60, 70 feet of water. A lot of backbone. It's going to be able to handle that good fight from the Lakers there. And last but not least, we've got the Azumi line of rods. They're brand new, and uh, they come in a number of actions as well, don't they? They do. We've got um, five different actions right now. We have an ultra light, a light, medium light, medium, and a medium heavy action. Uh, if there's a species of fish out there that you want to catch, we have the rod for it. And speaking of catching, let's get back to more of that ice fishing. Thank you, Eric. Appreciate Thanks, it. All right. All right. Jim, I just... Uh, just got to a fresh hole here in 61 feet of water, and I lowered this down before it even hit bottom. I was just pulling some of the fire line off, and then bam! <laughs> On the power tube again? Yeah, once again, power tube. All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, uh, how much? How much fire line did I put on? I can't remember. Yeah, we'll get oh, no. <laughs> hey, wait. Where's, did I hook onto a snow bear? <laughs> I think we could have a good fish on here. Come on, baby. You know, I thought I'd pick the hole furthest out. You know, guy, we've been fishing shallower. Cut that ling, or that, that ling in shallow. Weird looking fish, wasn't it? Yeah, dude, we kept growing up there. Look at this rod. Yeah. Ten pound fire line. Now I'm using like a I'm using Vanis transition as a leader material. Um, you know the fluorocarbon that Berkeley makes and I actually uh, went a little I've got eight on there. I went a little lighter, so I'm not gonna we'll be careful. Not going to horse it. Do you ever feel the bites with that fire line? Though, right? oh. like you said 61 feet, was it you were down? Well, no, I was going down about 40 feet. My bait stopped, ah. and all of a sudden I lift up, boom, it's there. Picked it up on the way down. Now, you know what? We're going to have a bit of an issue. That is not a very big hole, and I'm not sure how big this fish is. Can Bob and Jim get the big laker through that small hole? Stay tuned to find out right here on Real Fishing. Okay, okay, there's the tube. Oh my, it is a giant. I don't know if we can get it through there, Jim. I'm not kidding you. One thing about these are very fragile, these lake trout, that they're very old. Gord Pizer, who lives up in, uh, you know, Northwest Ontario, Gord, who co-hosts the radio show with me for a number of years. The bigger Lakers can be like 20 pound Lakers can be 40 years old. So why would you kill them, you know? So you really want to put these big boys back. And this could be, well, it could be a good one. I don't know. I mean, right now, just by Whoa. judging, if it's not over 10 pounds, I'll be a monkey's uncle because this rod is loaded. Loaded up. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, I might have to call uh, Jean Berube from Shimano to get this reel lubricated after I'm done. Should be, should be heating up. John looks after service at Shimano, and uh, does he do a good job, eh? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, you know what? It's amazing though. Today, nowadays, how reels are with the smooth drags they have, and that you really <laughs> my wrist is getting sore. <laughs> what? You, yeah, you believe that? Ice fishing, your wrist getting sore. Now, I have to tell you, Bob, we've had a feud today, and I was coming over here to jump out of the snow bear and give it to you. Uh -huh. They were going to pull up beside you, and you yelled, fish on. So oh, you're so off, the, the fish saved me. You were going to yeah. beat me up, were you? <laughs> well, all I know is if you would have jumped on me, I would have been like a camouflage flapjack on the ice. <laughs> a Baba Zuli deckle <laughs> on the side of the snow bear. This is uh, interesting. 
Man, did it ever strip a lot of lung? You can hear that drag just singing. When Absolutely. Goes. When you guys are running over here in the snow bear, the irony is it took a couple other long runs, too. And I just hope we can get this thing through the hole. Well, this is their time of the year, too, so they'll go on forever. They'll fight forever. They're, they're most active in the winter. Like. Yeah, and, you know, we're talking third week of March here. And we want a big laker. This could be the biggest laker I've caught through the ice. I haven't caught a lot of big lake trout through the ice. You? Uh, I've, I had one giant fish once uh, on the Big Rito years ago that I saw beneath the ice. The ice was only about five inches thick. And I caught one about five, one about eight, and then I got this big old fish down there, and it was just a giant. Three-pound test micro ice. Uh-oh. The problem we've got, and I think you know the problem we've got. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Is getting it through this hole is going to be very, very interesting. Uh oh. It, and then I've got to get a snout going too, don't I? I mean, I, this is going to be interesting. You don't want to fight him this long and not see him. Oh my! It is a giant. I don't know if we can get it through there, Jim. I'm not kidding you. Take a look. We might have to get the auger and drill another hole. Let's see. I don't know. Can we get him? Oh my! Look at the size of this lake trout! <laughs> Whoa, brother! Montezumi! <laughs> that thing is a monster! Well, that's definitely my biggest laker through the ice, Jim. Do your biggest fish through the ice today. <laughs> there you go, man. Look at that. Wow. All right. Look at that thing. <laughs> Power bait, HT, <laughs> can't go wrong, eh? You're right. Man, oh, look at this. Oh, hold on, baby. Look at that thing. Oh, man. Wow. I am so glad we got it through the hole. There's the tube right there. Whoa. Monster Lakers through awesome. the ice. All right. What a beaut. You see that big old mouth coming up the hole, eh? That wow. That looks great. Well, Jim... Time to put this monster back what a beaut. down the hole. There he goes. There he goes. All right. Now that went down a lot easier than it came up. <laughs> no kidding, brother. What a fish. What a Man. fish to catch through the ice. Now, the biggest thing is do we punch three holes together to make I'm one? This one. You fish this one, I'll fish that one. <laughs> I don't care. You burned this one out. <laughs> that was <pretty> good. <laughs> Hey folks, taking advantage of the fantastic ice fishing opportunities this country has to offer is a must. And you can even have a little fun while you're out there too. Hey, we'll see you next week right here for some more real fishing.